Hey Barry come grab the other treadmill. I wanted to discuss something with you. I would rather do my exercises if that is alright. Whatever you want Barry. I wanted to ask you about terraforming in the Cana system. Is it feasible? I am vaguely familiar. I have been studying anomalous gases. The planet is a little cold but still habitable. The Federation wants to terraform to make it better for humans. I will believe it when I see it. You know how Federation engineers are. USS WASP on routine mission studying anomalous gases. All systems normal. Long range sensors picking up a spacecraft approaching our position. They are sending a message. An Admiral Haskins wishes to speak to the captain on board the shuttle. Send acknowledgement and contact the captain. Go to all stop when in transporter range. Welcome aboard, son. Relax. You are talking to your old man. What's this all about, dad? Is it something important or did you just want to talk? It's about the planet circling Barnard's star. It is warming up and Starfleet wants you to find out why and how. Barnard's star is an old red dwarf and the planet is technically considered to be a super Earth. Just how much is the planet warming up? The surface temperature is a balmy negative 40. It used to be minus 220 degrees Fahrenheit. At its current rate of increase, the surface will be warm enough in a week for humans to go outside. You will be speaking with a James Ford who is in charge of Ice Station Yoke. Your mission is to learn why this is happening and find out if it is a threat to the research station. Dad why don't you come over to the WASP and at least have dinner with me? Sorry son. I was ordered to deliver this message in person, and then proceed to a conference. Try to keep this low profile. That's what Starfleet wants. Approaching the planet. All is quiet. Contact I Station Yoke. Let them know that we are here to investigate problems on the planet. I Station Yoke Manager Jim Ford asks us to stand by. He will beam up shortly. Commence scanning of the surface. I want a temperature report. I am reading about 20 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. Clouds are starting to form. Atmosphere is breathable. Have the science officer dispatch a team in a shuttle. I don't want boots on the ground yet. Welcome aboard the WASP, Manager Ford. Thank you Captain. Since our previous visit the surface has warmed rapidly and we still do not know why. Have you learned anything that might be of help to us? Our scans seem to indicate machinery below. My associate Reina will fill you in. We have been getting vibrations on a large scale from beneath, as if machinery is running. We are more astronomy oriented. We have dispatched a science team to the surface in a shuttle craft. Our surface scans show dozens of hot areas and we don't think they are natural. We will keep you informed. Status. Scan area. Maintain surface scans. Commander, I just thought I saw a ship out there. Then it vanished. Full power to sensors. Look for a cloaking device. There it is again. I mean there it was. Helm get it right. Did you see something or not? It was a fast blip on our sensors. Sound yellow alert. Raise shields, charge phaser banks. Captain to the bridge. A desolate, dark place. 
Not somewhere I would want to vacation, even if it was warm enough. Surface filled with boulders and water ice. Little more. Temperature now 40 degrees. Trouble up ahead. I am reading a structure, and it is very hot. I don't see anything but a hill. Analysis of composition, please. I am reading iron, titanium, beryllium and artificial alloys. Definitely artificial. If it was not for our senses, we would not know it was artificial. I am going to try to get permission to go on the surface. We will set down for a time. Okay, we have permission. Three quarters, phases, full equipment. That thing is too hot to approach. The good thing is, its radiant heat will help keep us warm. Rocky, I am detecting steam flow inside piping. That is where the heat is coming from. What do you think the purpose is? I am currently picking up radiation. Nuclear radiation. It looks like fission power. Get all the information you can, then we will return to the ship. Thank you all for coming. I want reports on everything that we have seen. Rocky what did your team find? It's a standard planet in appearance. We found a cooling tower from a nuclear fission plant, cleverly disguised as a hill. Would you have any ideas why this would be disguised? No I don't. They were very clever about it. Continue your exploration. Science officer do you have any recommendations of where they should explore next? There is a large body of water that has thawed out due to heat from below and above. I would like to do that one next. Very well. Proceed. Engineer Smith, you have something? We have identified dozens of cooling towers. It appears, looking at the small amounts of radiation escaping, that these are uranium-235 reactors. That isotope of uranium appears to be fairly abundant in the crust of the planet. It looks like someone decided to use it. What is the status of the reactors? All of the ones we saw appear to be critical and operating normally. I can't understand how they went from shutdown to criticality. Obviously there must be an underground civilization here, or was. I want it found, whether there are aliens living here or not. We flew our shuttle down to a planet that was surreal and dark, and a feeling of foreboding spread among the team. We were about to enter an alien ocean on a planet that got little light and heat from its sun. Still, we expected to find very little, and never expected to find life. What we did find was nothing short of breathtaking. Scan for additional heat sources. This sea did not thaw out this quickly just from the air temperature. I am reading massive thermal vents on the bottom. They are not natural. Try to figure out where they are coming from. I guess we already know. Missy, give us reports on the aquatic plants, and Lisa, animals if there are any. It looks like standard ocean life though I can't understand how it could have survived all these years frozen. This whole place is an enigma. How about you Lisa? I am detecting fish and other undersea life, but so far no mammalian life. Oh no. Something bigger is coming. Evasive. Hard to port. What on earth is it? It resembles models of prehistoric plesiosaurs that I have seen.
Shut or to wasp. This ocean is alive. Repeat this ocean and this planet are alive.